strong. Hello, my name is Finn Fraser. Last year, we covered the important issue of oceans and seas rising due to climate change. This year, we will talk about the islands of the Pacific that will soon be completely uninhabitable and underwater. This is Seas Arise 2. There is no planet B, is the climate change message this year, with over 6 million people showing up to climate change protests worldwide. We can see that people really do care about this important issue. As you will see in the following video, it's sad that the people producing the least amount of greenhouse gases are having to deal with the effects of bigger countries producing a lot more greenhouse gases. We want to go in depth into the tropical islands that will sadly soon be underwater due to climate change. We can't be there ourselves due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but we have a clip from 60 Minutes Australia to show you now. The northwestern end of the Solomon Islands is one of the most stunning and remote parts of the Pacific Ocean. But its isolation offers little protection. The world is catching up with this place very fast and, in effect, drowning it. You think the whole island will eventually disappear? Yeah, this island will be disappeared. Climate change is not an abstract notion for these islands. These houses are really falling into the ocean, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These houses are really falling into the ocean. Or the people who call them home. Whilst the global average sea level rise rates are, are running at about three and a half millimetres a year, here in the Solomons, the last two decades have seen three times that rate. So uh, between seven and 10 millimetres a year. So this is way above the world average. That's right. It gives us a, a unique opportunity to provide this sort of looking glass into the future of how we expect the rest of the world to, to experience sea level rise rates towards the end of this century. 39 year old Dr. Simon Albert first came to the Solomon Islands as a young PhD student from the University of Queensland to study the impact of logging runoff on coral reefs. Then he started to hear stories of islands that had simply vanished off the map. An elderly gentleman on the boat with us, he started explaining that there were these, these islands um, that he used to camp on as a, as a child. And we were just out in the middle of the ocean looking at a, at a coral reef with, with no island in sight. As you saw by that, we have to do something before the devastating impact of climate change on the Solomon Islands. We now have an interview with Caleb Hunt after showing him this video. Hi, my name is Finn and I'm here today with Connor. Connor, what can you tell us about the idea of the Pacific Islands being underwater in the near future? Uh, well, I think it's not very good considering I saw a few facts about it. Okay. And apparently it can cause like billions of dollars of damage. So. Good. Take a bunch of housing, which, like, along with like housing already being a problem, that mm. would not be good. Mm. So, yeah. True fact spoken. Um, uh, what do you know about the the greenhouse gas emission effect? How small Pacific islands are only producing zero point zero three percent of uh, total greenhouse gases, whereas uh, other much larger countries are producing way more. Yet the smaller islands are having to suffer for that. Yeah, I think that's kind of stupid. Like, like big countries and like big companies can get away with all this stuff. Um, well, thank you very much, Connor. That was uh, very useful. Thanks, Caleb. It really does show us how much the normal civilian knows about this important issue. Bearing these environmental crises in mind, time is not on the Pacific region's side. If global emissions are not drastically reduced, thousands of low-lying islands may become uninhabitable within decades. The entire Pacific region contributes to 0.03% of total greenhouse gas emissions. Yet, millions of Pacific Islanders are subjected to bearing the severe impact of climate change, which is undeniably an existential threat to their homeland, culture, livelihoods and their Pacific identity. It really does give you something to think about next time you buy those new shoes, throw away that plastic bottle. Well, we hope you learned something today.
Thanks to all the people who helped make this possible, including 60 Minutes Australia. Until next year, goodbye. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.